Okay, now I'm going to show you how to link um, type database information to, com to actual symbols from the catalog. So this is a symbol I've used add ref to make it into a component with auxiliary context. I'm going to extend the custom catalog and there's nothing in my OL folder so I'm going to drop it into there and give it a name. I'm going to call it 3 4 overload. Let's just call it um, OL3 actually, keep it simple. So what I'm going to do now, I've got a part number in the database. If I search, and this is the standard database that comes with uh, V7R2 for the standard and advanced versions, I'm going to go to find type and I'll search for a GV2ME and I can see a couple of different circuit breakers there. I'm going to choose this one, Telemechanique one, and <coughs> I can see some data about that part. Now one of the important fields here for C Electrical is a field or property called um, channel definition. Now if I type in DE it will actually come up with defined channels and as soon as I click to the right it allows me to specify what symbol should be used on the circuit diagram, installations or cabinets depending on which modules you have. So certainly for the circuit diagrams I'm going to go for searching and the symbol column. I'm going to go into my custom OL and pick up my symbol. Next I'm going to say what the connection points are so I'm just going to put the text using the down arrow to go to the next field down and just click on use for this one. So I now have one symbol which is a component OL3 and I just click OK. Click on close on there. I'm going to make sure that that's updated. It's always a good idea to use the functions and update and make sure the data in the background is as up to date as it can be. So now I should be able to go to search and choose DV 2ME and I should be able to find the part number I selected. Uh, more importantly, if I go to components, I can do this the other way around. If I click on search on GV2ME1101, I can see that this is now listing that is the correct symbol. When I place it in, I'm not only getting the symbol, but I'm getting the part number as well. If I search again and I want to find an auxiliary contact block, GVAE something, click on OK, so I double click to add it, click on OK, and in fact what's happened is added the auxiliary contact block cross-reference symbol. So it already knows what symbol should be available on another page if we just create a new page and make use of the complete function. two quick on the clicks and it shows me what contacts are available and allows me to place those in and I can place those in and on there I can see where it's referencing to for each of those and from here I can see where it's going to on the other page. The reason that's working automatically the reference is coming or appearing there is that on the functions and database these auxiliaries have already been set up so when I search for EVAE11 click on OK I can see defined channels has already been set up and it's already got the information there for two contacts, a normally open and a normally closed.